Hey, it's Andreas, and let's talk about why I have multiple bank accounts as a digital nomad, and I have them in different countries. This is important information if you are a person who moves around a lot and lives in different nations, or you're just planning to adopt more of a nomad lifestyle. So I had a tech job in Sweden, and I moved to Denmark for another role in the same tech company. And soon I will be moving to Ireland for another tech job. But while I was in Sweden, I had these Swedish bank accounts, of course. But when I moved to Denmark, I chose not to close down this account. I opened a new one in Denmark, so I have one account in Sweden and one in Denmark. And this really served me well, especially in the beginning, because it took a lot of time to open the Danish bank accounts. It's a rigid and super annoying process especially when you come with a different passport to the bank so i had to use the swedish bank account in the beginning to pay rent and all my bills so don't be too quick to close your native account the one you started with <clears throat> anyways after you opened the account in your new country you think maybe i don't need my old bank accounts anymore well, maybe you don't, hopefully you don't, but chances are that maybe you do. And that's why you need the redundancy. Let me explain by exemplifying an unfortunate event that happened to me a couple of weeks ago. So Denmark has recently migrated to this new digital verification system called Mit Idea, so My Idea. And you use this to sign into all the online banking sites, all the government websites. And unfortunately, this one is really susceptible to interference and it can be easily made locked down. All you need to do is to write a username and then try the password a couple of times and it will be locked out. So you don't have a you know, code reader only, you have password and code reader and it's really, really easy to get locked out of this system. And in my case, it happened. Probably some old person had the wrong username and they tried and tried and tried and tried until my account was locked. And this meant that I couldn't log into my internet banking. I still can't. I have to go to a government facility and sit in a queue for eight hours and unlock it. So that's something I'm looking forward to. But because I still have my Swedish bank account, I'm able to pay my bills using that account. No worries, I have the redundancy to protect myself from unplanned events like this. And this is why you need to have multiple bank accounts and not only in the same country, because if I had you know, an account with one Danish bank and then another account with another Danish bank, it would still be the same digital verification process and I would be locked out of both bank accounts and as somebody with a residence permit and not a full citizen then you don't have access to the same services that Danish citizens have. For example they can use remote support to unlock the my idea but as a foreigner you have to go to the physical place, the facility, grab a queue ticket and sit with everybody that's doing you know, asylum and renewing foreign passports and whatnot. So it's really, really important to have this redundancy in your life so that you can pay rent if something unexpected happens and you can do all these little things that keep life rolling, keep things smooth. All right. So that's been my thoughts on you know, multiple bank accounts in different nations as a digital nomad. Do you have similar stories of when you needed redundancy? Post them down in the comments below so we can help out as many people as possible who have a similar lifestyle to ourselves or are planning to adopt this nomad lifestyle. That's been it for this video and as always I hope you make a ton of money whatever investments you decide to make. Take care now. Bye bye.